Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys some kind of supporting questions, especially for maybe some certain people. Um, just to kind of help you guys out with me, because what we're going to do for this question is I want to be able to determine, is these two triangles similar? So remember, there's two, congruent, there's two similarity statements, or three of them, sorry, that we talked about. Angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. I know. I was trying to think of what to say, and I, whatever. I know. What? In my home country, that's the way that we'd say it, OK? So let's go and talk about um, some things. So Kevin, if it's similar, why are they similar? Whoa, 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 Kevin. Slow down. You're just knocking this out of the park. All right, so for some people that are not as amazing as Kevin for seeing this, let's go and identify what he did, because he hit it nail on the head. Last class period, it was like a 10-minute video I had to help them out with. So awesome job. So the first thing, guys, remember, there's a couple different options we look at. First of all, what you guys want to do is look at this problem and see what is it you are given. The only thing you are given is these parallel lines. That's it. It's the only thing they tell you about this. So to say that the lengths are going to be equal is going to be very, very difficult to do. Just put it in the side bin. Right? So therefore, that would make me think of, all right, I have to go and prove that angles are congruent. Now, we know that when we have parallel lines, then we have parallel lines in a transversal. We have angle relationships. But I'll get to that in a second. The most obvious one, I would say, would be these two angles right here. Because hopefully, since the beginning of the year, I have drilled into you that you, when you have intersecting sides that do not share a side but share a vertex, we call them vertical angles. And vertical angles are equal in measurement, right? So we can say that these two angles are congruent. Oh, well, um, let me write this down. So I'd say A, B, C. And let's call this D, B, D, D. OK? So we know those are equal. Now, where Kevin was did a great job is he understood that these lines are parallel. All right, And what angles did you say were equal to each other, Kevin? Which ones? Uh, <coughs> OK, so let's call them A, B, C, all right, and E, D, C. All right? So he's saying that let's pretend we have B and we have D. And if I was to draw a straight line to them, so these lines are parallel. Does everybody remember problems like this? Yes. You have a set of parallel lines. He's trying to tell me that this angle is equal to that angle. If those lines are parallel and you have a line that intersects, are those two angles equal to each other? Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, when you're looking at a problem like this, try to look past just looking at triangles. Try to see what information can I take from this to be able to determine, because yes, he's absolutely correct. Those are equal to each other. So what I can say is measure of angle A, B, C is congruent to the measure of angle E, D, C, which is right here and right there. Then I can say the measure of angle um, A, C, B is congruent to the measure of angle um, E, CD. And since we have two, tri two angles that are now congruent, can we now say these are similar? <coughs> yeah, then we're good. Is that cool?